Hello, and welcome back to art class. Today, we're going to be making a collage. When collage is spelled with an A, it's talking about artwork. A collage is a work of art made by gluing pieces of different materials to a flat surface. Here's my collage. I took different pieces of paper, cut them out, and made my picture. You ready? Let's get started. We will be creating a collage, or a picture made out of other pieces of paper, with the prompt of thankful. An art prompt is a suggestion or a starting point for your art. Your prompt today is thankful. So think about different things that you are thankful for. What are you happy to have in your life? You will have a sheet of paper. You're going to fold it short side to short side. After you make the sides hold hands, you're going to crease it. And now once again, you're going to fold it short side to short side. Hold hands and then crease. So when you unfold it, you'll have one, two, three, four sections to draw on. Each of these four sections will be a different thumbnail drawing for your final idea. A thumbnail is a sketch that is a quick, rough drawing to help you get ideas for your final art piece. So I do need you to create at least four ideas what you are thankful for. So I'm thankful for my friends and my family. So I'm going to think about how to draw members of my family. My mom has really long hair. So that's going to be her hair. And I'm going to abstract her and draw her not realistically. She often wears big necklaces. So that's my mom. And now I'm going to draw my friends, my best friend, has, always wears a big ponytail. She always wears t-shirts. I need to think about something for my background. And remember, these are thumbnail sketches. They do not have to be super detailed yet at this point. So I'm going to think about something else I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for my dog. He has a very round head. He has floppy ears. He has a big nose, he has a spot over his eye, and his eyes can go here. And he lives outside, so I have to think about some zigzags or some grass, and maybe some clouds in the sky. Also keep in mind that these are going to be collages, so all of these designs you'll have to cut out of different pieces of construction paper later, so don't worry about making them overly detailed. So make sure you're drawing with pencil so that you can always erase mistakes. If you want to draw four more on the back, you're welcome to. I need at least four ideas. You're going to get another sheet of paper, and you're going to draw your thumbnail idea full size. So I'm going to draw my dog. So I have to make him bigger to fill up the whole paper. And since this is a thumbnail, I can change some things up. I think I'm going to give him his collar. The zigzags for the grass, and some clouds. Now, I have to make this design out of my pieces of paper. You will get back your paintings and your abstract overlapping picture, and you're going to use these to help you make your collage. So for example, I like these for the grass. I'll make my dog blue. I'll let his ears pink and a spot. It's okay to ask for extra papers. Write down what you want here. So I'll put blue paint paper for here. I'm going to use this for some details. So I'll use this piece here for his nose. So abstract paper nose. And if I need extra papers, now is the time to figure that out. So for this, I would like a light blue. And for these, I would like a white. I'm going to circle those so I know that that's what I need. After you figure out what you need, you can start cutting out your pieces and gathering everything together. So since I want my main background, blue sheet of paper, since I want the main background to be blue, I have the papers here, but if I make it dark blue, my dog's not going to stand out very much. So I make the background light blue, and I'm working from the back to the front. So the grass is also behind my dog. So I have this, and I'm going to cut out some rows of grass. So it's a zigzag line, so I'm going to cut zigzag. So 
so I can layer it. And after I lay it out, I want to glue it down. So just a dot, not a lot, is what you want. I'm going to twist it, and now that it's breathing, I'm going to put just a dot, not a lot, of glue on my piece, and then hold it down for 10 seconds. 9, 10, I'm going to do that for the other pieces. So now I have that glued down. The next thing in my background would be the clouds. If you would like to draw your shapes on your paper before you cut it out, that's fine. Draw lightly so that your pencil marks won't show up as much. And I'm also flipping them upside down so that you can't see my pencil lines. I'm going to lay them out so that I'm happy with them. Remember my dog's right in the middle, so I want most of the clouds off to the side so you can still see them. Once I have them all laid out, I'm going to take my glue and put just a little bit on each piece. Just a dot goes a long way. Hold it down for 10 seconds and glue the rest of them down. So the thing that's next in the background would be the dog's body because it's going to go behind the other shapes. So I'm kind of gauge how big it's going to be by looking at my original paper. And I can always draw on the back with pencil to help me out and then cut it out. I lay it out to a spot I'm happy with and then I'm going to add my glue. Hold it down for 10 seconds. The next part would be his collar and I think I'm going to make it out of this shape here. So you can see it needs to go from about right here to about right here. I'm just going to glue that down. And I think this shape here would make a really cute little dog tag. So my head's here and my ears are going to be behind my head. But I have to go and make my head first so I know how large to make my ears. So if I look, essentially the head's going to be this entire sheet. So I'm going to draw it and then cut it out. So I have his head. Now I need to work on his ears. And I want them to be out of the same sheet of paper. If I want them to be symmetrical, I can fold this in half, draw one ear, and then cut it out. So he has his little ears. Once I have it laid out, I'm going to glue it down. What's in the back first. Down for 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Now for the head. So now what would be the furthest in the background would be the spot, which is going to be about a fourth of this paper. Lay it out until you're happy with it, and then glue it down. This here is going to be his nose. Lay it out, then glue it down, down for 10 seconds. I have the little small part of his eye and I have his mouth to make. I'm going to use the black paper for that. So the eyes are going to be really, really tiny. And I want them to be the same. So I'm going to fold over just a little bit of it. And I'm going to make some tiny little ovals. Lay them out. Glue them down. His mouth is going to be the hardest shape since it's just a line. I'm going to draw out my smile effect. And then I'm going to make it thick by cutting around it. Lay it out. And then glue it down. After you get the main part of your picture done, if you have extra time, please feel free to go in and add extra detail. So that is my finished collage. It went from thumbnail sketch to final sketch, where I marked out what kind of papers I would need, to our final collage piece. Focus on the big details first. Focus on going from the back paper to the front paper. Lay things out and then glue them down. I cannot wait to see what you will make. Have fun and happy arting.